Okay, uh, thank you very much for your question, Zach. And we have one more, and it's coming from Judd uh, Legum, who runs Popular Information Newsletter. Uh, Judd, I, we, we're, we've kind of wandered away from the topic of uh, books, so I'm hoping you bring it back. Yeah, but, I'm, but... I'm very interested in it. I've been covering it extensively for uh, some time, and I do want to get back to uh, the topic in particular. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed during the course of this debate is that the only book that Chris has referenced throughout this entire hour is gender queer. And I think this is a gross misrepresentation of what's happening broadly around the country, uh, but also specifically in the state of Florida. I'm looking at a list that was uh, published uh, by the Florida Department of Education in February that is listing dozens of books that have been banned uh, by various counties. And indeed, thousands, hundreds of thousands of books are unavailable to students at in Florida as they attempt to comply with the laws that were passed in 2022. In Duval County specifically, uh, only 30,000 of the more than million t a million titles that that school district uh, uh, carries are currently available to students. So I wanna ask a very specific question and zone in, uh, focus in on Duval County. In Duval County, they have banned a number of books, uh, including Beloved by Toni Morrison, which is the winner of the Pulitzer Prize. And they didn't just ban it in general. They banned it specifically citing Florida's child pornography statute. And this is something that has been cited by Ron DeSantis and by the Florida Department of Education, threatening teachers and librarians that if they carry pornographic materials, they will be subject to a third degree felony in Florida. And so my question uh, for Chris is, does he believe that Beloved by Toni Morrison meets the definition of obscenity under Florida statute, which is defined as sexual excitement or sexual conduct and that is harmful to minors? And if so, does he believe that a librarian or teacher who makes this book available to students should be subject to felony prosecution? Or does he believe that in Florida this has gone too far? Okay, and I, I want to point out that th that that in, in Florida, a third-degree felony can come with a five-year prison sentence. So, Chris, that's the question to you. No, I, I mean, that's not true. That, that, that's a, a myth that's been debunked uh, about the felony charges. But but I'm, I'm glad that Judd uh, Legum is, is, is raising this question because uh, Judd's own reporting reveals the uh, nature of, of the political propaganda effort behind these so-called book bans. Judd, for example, made Chris, this uh, Chris, really Chris, 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 report. Chris, 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 you're doing a pivot from a really important question about the book, Beloved. Does the, is the book Beloved pornographic and deserve to be banned? Uh, again, look, I, I don't believe so, but 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 the, the the point here, and I think this is really important, is that and is, are people report, subject uh, to a felony uh, prosecution for distributing? They're not. To That's not true. Florida. That's not true. It's not. That's true? just not true. But but what, what what I know for a fact, though, is that you did this hysterical report about the book Mouse, the graphic novel uh, uh, regarding the Holocaust, and you had that it was banned from a certain school district, I believe in rural Tennessee. The New York Times ran that this book was banned. But I actually looked into it, and your reporting was really misleading, false, and amounted to propaganda. In reality, my, it, hold, on, question, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. In reality, it was removed from a mandatory eighth grade curriculum because of profanity, nudity, depiction of suicide, and the local school board recommended finding a replacement on the same subject matter, the Holocaust, in what they deemed was a more age-appropriate matter for eighth graders. It was still in the library, still available to the public, still available to anyone in the community. It wasn't banned at all. This is a, a kind of propaganda word that was weaponized by, by people, uh, like including Judd specifically. Uh, and, I'm, and, and I'm glad we're able to address that. I just want to note that we went through this entire thing. He only mentioned one book. I asked one question about one specific book and should it be defined as pornography or has Florida gone too far? And he will not provide an answer to that question, which I think is very indicative of where I, we are I, in this I just debate. Told, I just told John, I don't think that it would qualify as obscene. I'm happy to name other books. Not my idea. This book is gay. Let's talk about it. We can name many other books. Uh, uh, and I think I also answered your question. Those, you know, those don't, that's not the limit. That's not the books 
that are limited to being banned in, in Florida. There are many books, including another one by Toni Morrison in Duval County, that's defined as pornography, uh, The Bluest Up. So there are many books beyond the handful that get, that get tossed around in these debates that are being banned, thousands of books. All right, Judd, thank you for your question. I answered your question. Um, and uh, I want to thank all of our journalists for uh, taking part in this part of the program.